what, what is supposed to happen during our meditation and how do I know that I'm making progress in my meditation. So what is supposed to happen during the meditation and how am I supposed to know that I'm making progress in my meditation? You'll know that you're making progress when you stop asking the question. <laughs> that may take a little while. Uh, what's supposed to happen? What's supposed to happen is that you accept yourself as you are. That's the starting point of your relationship with God. So, what's supposed to happen is that you come to know yourself better. And uh, at first you may see a few things about yourself you'd rather not see. But it's better to see it and you will end up loving yourself and accepting yourself much more, in a much more healthy way as a result of that. So, the first thing that happens is that your relationship with yourself becomes healthier, more loving, more accepting. Maybe less perfectionistic, or less, but other things will you know, happen as well, less compulsive, less uh, addictive and so on. Um, but basically, the first thing is coming to self-knowledge. That will change you. It's an odd thing to say, but coming to know yourself is the biggest thing that you can do to change. As you know yourself, you expand. So, um, how do you know you're making progress? Because, uh, not because of what happens in the meditation itself. Some meditations will be very beautiful, peaceful, blissful even. Other meditations will be uh, very chaotic and uh, distracting. And at the end of the meditation, you may say, well, oh, what was the point of that? That was, a, I was so distracted, I don't think I said the mantra once. But you have made progress. Because, because you, you're, you, you're aware of it, you've accepted it, and it will deepen your, your faith and your commitment uh, to the practice, and you do the meditation the next day, and you'll find that maybe it's a different meditation. You have a different set of feelings. It doesn't matter, in one sense, what happens during the meditation. Over time, you will find that the times of meditation become more peaceful and calmer. And the deeper you go, the more you will be able to be in touch with the spirit of joy and peace that is within us. But at, at times, you, you won't feel that. But what, what, where you will really see the, uh, the, the changes in your life will be uh, in your relationships with other people, in your sense of the presence of God, uh, in all situations in your life, your sensitivity towards the needs of others, your capacity to pay attention to them, to be a more loving person. And, you know, you may not be the first person to be aware of this change. You know, it may be the people you live or work with. A friend of mine came to stay with me uh, recently with a 17-year-old son, and uh, he, is a, he has a very stressful, busy job, and he meditates twice a day, every day. And his son, who's 17, meditates when he feels like it. When they were staying with me, we, the three of us meditated together. And after one of the meditations, my friend left the room, and chatting with his son. And then his son said to me, you know, Lawrence, I'm really grateful that you taught my dad to meditate. <laughs> and so he and the whole family had noticed that, the, that, that, that he was, whatever, easier to get on with. There were better relationships with the children and the family as a whole. He was less stressed, less whatever, whatever the issues were. So I think uh, it's, 
And, and now, when you notice that, this isn't the superficial. What you're aware of is that this, this little sign indicates a, a deeper process of transformation, spiritual growth that's taking place in you. So, you know you're making progress, I think, ultimately uh, through the relationships in your life. And, you know, as, as we often say, if you don't become a more loving person after 20 years of meditation, you will get your money back. <laughs>